Hi, everybody. We are here today with five internet digital entrepreneurs. And um, hello. We, we were just wondering, um, we, we are on a path since a while, and we were talking with each other. We all have different reasons why we started all this. Uh, because we're all different people with different journeys. And uh, so that's why today we wanted to delve in a little bit what, what brought us to becoming a digital entrepreneur. And uh, the, the question starts, uh, there are two questions that we want to raise with all five people here today. And the first question is, what is the biggest step or what is the reason why you became a digital entrepreneur? And to finish off, perhaps he can also point out what, what it has brought him so far on his journey, what his experiences are in, and what he has gained so far. Uh, I kind of, ever since I was a little boy, I had this, um, I don't know, direction or expectation imprinted on me that I need to study hard, go to the university, get a good job in a reputable company, and all of this will resolve like all of my uh, problems. And uh, when I got my first job in a really good company, and I, uh, I need to say that I enjoyed my uh, early years, uh, I thought that I was sorted for life. I was like, okay, like all I need to do is just kind of... Uh, climb the ladder and uh, work harder or you know not get fired <laughs> so i thought i was i was sorted but uh having uh, spent uh 10 years um in the company i grew to a level where uh the challenge was gone i uh, got uh, quite high in the company i was earning really good uh, money myself but uh uh, all of this was costing me my personal time and my precious time that I could have been spending with uh, uh, Sophie, my, my wife. And uh, I remember uh, starting day at 7 a.m. with a phone call from my boss telling me that um, um, there are some issues that are really urgent to be sorted out. And uh, I didn't see her until sort of 8 p.m. Uh, sort of uh, in, in the evening. So I was genuinely leaving to work i wasn't working to leave and uh, on the, for the weekends all i was looking for is some distractions like uh, not eating healthy drinking some alcohol or even like doing something that will really kind of distract my uh, my mind and uh, and and kind of let me forget about my own situation and uh, at the surface because i was perceived by my friends and family to be very successful I, f I thought that I have to like play the game and um, and really kind of uh, um, um, show up to be strong and not really um, uh, tell them that I was actually deeply suffering because it was um, on, on one hand I was being uh, overworked uh, on another hand I was deeply uh, uh, sacrificing, uh, sacrificing my relationship, and uh, that was a time when Sophie didn't. Uh, we weren't married at the time, and I was deeply considering whether she would say yes because I wanted to marry her uh, if I do if I do propose. And um, and uh, when I got my courage and I asked her to uh, marry me, and she said yes, uh, I, I I did promise to her that we will go traveling, and I'll really kind of compensate for all the uh, things that you know I wasn't there for her and at the same time I was expecting that traveling um, would give me an ability to gain a wider perspective and perhaps uh, I don't know recover some of the bad emotions that I gathered over the years uh, from uh, working 60 hour weeks and uh, and that I would be able to come back with a fresh mind and simply say, all right, next 30 years, here it comes. Uh, but uh, what traveling taught me was that um, I, I, I kind of was able to like stop and really think where was I going with my life. And I realized that I was on a path that leads to depression, that leads to uh, some bad habits, uh, some bad addictions, uh, potentially lost relationship and uh and i was thinking why am i doing this why am i chasing you know this 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 next promotion this this next money where i'm actually not living the life that i'm living and i actually felt 
uh, really sad. And all, at the same time, I felt that I was already like 70 or 80 years old. I can't, you know, I can't really explain it. And, uh, and I just, in that moment, I said to myself, I need to make a change. And I quit my job at that point. And I started, started manifesting. I started looking for uh, different solutions. And uh, I've always had this idea of creating something uh, for myself, something that is 100% on my own terms. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but I've always, like, ever since I was younger, I was, I was like, mm, you know, my boss is telling me to do this, but I don't really agree with this. I don't really resonate with his values and the company's values. And I felt like really, I, I had a massive conflict. And, uh, uh, and I always wanted to create something for myself, something that I can grow from the bottom up, something that I built around my passions and, uh, and something that you know, I, can, I can cultivate almost like, like, like a baby of mine. And I know what I mean when I say babies because <laughs> I've got a few weeks old uh, <laughs> who just went to bed uh, before, before this call. So um, uh, one day I was looking for something on the internet. I think I was uh, meditating, that's right. Um, and I uh, saw a video that pointed me to uh, a video training and introduced me to, to SFM. And as soon as I saw this video, I was like, exactly, this is what I've been looking for. So I, I requested the, the access, went through the materials, and I was like, this is what I've been looking for. And my life ever since uh, has transformed 180 uh, uh, degrees and I can completely relate to everything that Patrick have said because the, the SFM and the new path that I uh, chose to follow uh, has equipped me with a completely different mindset where I feel that I'm in control of my life again. I feel that I'm young again. I feel like I'm 30, right? And because, you know, I've, uh, I, was, I was able to just get a perspective where uh, every morning I, I recognize that, you know, the, the, the time I have on this planet is 100% is precious. So I'm not going to waste a single moment anymore doing something that, you know, I, I don't feel passionate about. I don't feel fulfilled about. And, 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 and that perspective and that mindset really puts like so much so much joy and so much happiness and makes me a better person, makes me actually, you know, uh, uh, makes me want to become the best possible version of myself. And uh, Sophie, my wife, recognized it uh, a few months into, into my journey and uh, she, she started saying, you're, you're not completely the same person. You know, what, what happened to old Christoph? And I was like, gosh, you know, hearing it from somebody you truly love and some, somebody you are, you're so hard, so, so close to, uh, to, to, to you, so close to your heart, uh, really kind of painted me a right picture that I am actually growing to be uh, the best ver version of, my, of myself. And, uh, um, and what the journey has done so far for me, uh, I developed a mindset that I've never had. And probably if I've stayed in the same job and followed the old path, I would have never got that mindset despite the number of books or whatever I would be, I would be reading. Um, I established my own online uh, business, which is uh, starting to pick up uh, traction. It's uh, uh, I'm at the beginning of, of, of my journey, uh, like Patrick, um, but I'm already, I'm already delivering value and I'm really doing the, the, the steps that are really making me feel fulfilled again. Uh, I've also generated, uh, sorry, uh, uh, developed a new set of skills that I never thought that I would have or even enjoy having and enjoy developing and, uh, and, and having that uh, entrepreneurial mindset when it comes to uh, learning the things that really serves you as opposed to the things that you need to learn because somebody is telling you to learn uh, is, uh, is, is completely, is completely transfer transformational. And, uh, and, and this, this call wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the community of like-minded uh, people like you guys and thousands of other others, uh, SFM uh, members that are, you know, on the same journey and that uh, we follow each other's footsteps and we learn from each other mistakes and we can mastermind, we can uh, coach each other, we can be mentors to each other, we can 
provide each other uh, uh, each other's help and uh, and support and uh, and I and I don't imagine myself uh, living like without you guys without this wonderful community uh, and and that's an honest truth seriously because uh, I, I'm like one of the f initial things that I've learned from from SFM is that you know we are an average of people we surround ourselves right and 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 for me I was an average of really kind of to toxic and uh, and and unfulfilling environment in my in my previous job and therefore that was killing me internally so having stepped being able to step myself out and putting myself in the environment with uh, like-minded people like you guys and uh, thousands of other people uh, stimulates that growth and that's what gets me out from from every uh, from uh, from bed every day and uh, making me feel grateful that I started this, uh, this 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 journey, and I'm really excited for the journey ahead because uh, if I've gone so far, uh, uh, this, this this quickly, uh, next 30 years, gosh, gosh, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be awesome, huh? Sorry, next 30 years, I'm only 30. I'm planning to live at least 100 years, so next 70 yeah. years. <laughs> Thank you, Christo. That, that's fantastic, and we, we've learned so so many things already from each other. And I heard you say. Something was, uh, it was killing me inside. Can I just, to close off in a couple of words, just remind me how you felt in your old life and how you're feeling right now. Really, you know, what it made you feel, what you experienced inside of you. So in my old life, um, I, f I felt that waking up in the morning was... I was always waking up with this massive sigh where I was like, oh, oh my God. Just a moment of, of, of waking up and being conscious was making me feel anxious, depressed, stressed, and not even wanting to like carry on with, with my life. Um, and coming to work and uh, just being in the environment that was completely not fulfilling and was completely... Uh, draining me from like my, my my true potential and was stealing the passions of, of mine that I wanted to pursue and uh, and also draining me from energy so coming home and not being able to even have a decent conversation with your wife or partner uh, that was something I wasn't tolerate to to, to, to to continue whereby now uh, you know I've, I still work nine to five job but it's a completely different job and uh it, it's a job that i was i uh, i got after i joined um uh sfm but um sfm allowed me to really be crystal clear with regards to what type of um sort of uh day to day job i want to get and it allowed me to to get that clarity and really kind of be firm and manifest to the universe what type of job i want uh, because I knew that uh, when we start this this journey, we 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 we're better off to actually continue having a stable income whilst we're growing the business. Um, uh, sort of uh, in the meantime, uh, in the background, passively, and uh, and and the, the job that I have right now is um, like uh, okay, it's um, it's 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 what I actually needed, and that's what. SFM helped me to, 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 to manifest and be absolutely 100% clear in my mind and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and not tolerate anything uh, other than what, uh, what, what I wanted. So uh, uh, I'm on the journey of being the best possible version of myself and that's what gets me up every morning from, from the bed, uh, feeling excited about, uh, about life again. That sounds great. That's what we all want, right? So.